Hi, and welcome back to our blog. My name is Jim Cuervo, and I am your senior Revit trainer here at Digital Drafting Systems. In this blog, we will be looking at how to resolve the inconsistent units error when using Revit in an architectural imperial situation using parameters. There are faster ways of calculating the totals of a space, but let's look at the bigger picture. How can we get numeric and dimensional parameters to work together? We can do this by converting the dimensional value from a dimension to a numeric or decimal value. First, we need to neutralize our foot and inch values back down to decimal values. We do this by dividing one of the dimensional values by one foot in the imperial format. This forces Revit to look at this in a decimal format, thus allowing us to combine multiple numeric parameters together into one. In this particular example, I am defining total areas of a space. Let's get started. OK, as we can see, we have a simple room with a couple of dimensions. Let's start creating our parameters. First parameter that we're going to create, we'll just grab one, this one right here. Come over here to the Create Parameters button and say that this is going to be the width. And say OK to that. And we come over here to this one and we're going to call this one Length. Once that's done, we see that we have the little pencil marks next to our dimensionals in indicating that this is a parameter. So let's go ahead and go to the little pencil and we go to the global parameters editor and we shall create here a couple of new parameters. Okay, this first parameter that we're going to create is going to be the area. So let's go to the new parameter, call this one total area. And we're going to say this is an area which automatically places this at in, in that, as an analysis result. Say OK to that. Now, this one is going to be using a formula. This formula is going to be width space asterisk space length and hit the enter key. As you can see, it's automatically combining these two parameters together, but they are the same. Now let's take, let's take a look at something a little more difficult. Let's add a new parameter. This, co this is going to be a cost parameter. So let's go ahead and add. This is going to be cost PSF. This is going to be a currency. We'll leave everything else as it is, and we'll say OK to that. So. Now we indicate the value per square foot. Let's say five feet. Now we have our cost per square feet. Let us create now the, par the parameter that's going to combine these two together and give us our cost total for this area. That's done this way. We create a new one. We are going to say this is going to be total cost. Okay, and this is going to be currency also, and let's say, okay. In this one, we say now, now let's pay attention to this. Open parentheses, we call for the area parameter, and it's total area, so it's very important that we type this as it appears in the parameter, otherwise it won't recognize it, it's case sensitive. So it's total area, space divided by space 1 SF for square foot, close parentheses, algebraic notation. We then say space, asterisk, space, and then we name it exactly as cost PSF is. So it's uppercase C-O-S-T space PSF, and then hit the enter key. As you can see now, 
this numerical value is now being transformed into a decimal value, which gives us the proper number. If we didn't do this right here, this is what would happen. Let's call this one just cost total. So we know the difference between the two. We're going to say that this is also a currency, OK? And we say OK. Now it's going to repeat this, but without the little additional items that we did earlier. And this is what we get. So this is the item that we're trying to avoid. With that, I say I hope you enjoyed this particular little blog. Till the next one, this is Jim Cuervo for Digital Drafting Systems signing off.